So someone on Reddit went ahead and 3D printed the latest mock-up or the latest 3D render of what the iPhone foldable might look like. Now we talked about this in the previous video. We went through all the different like ideas and concepts and broke down the whole, you know, everything. But now here it is in person. In actual, you know, flesh and blood here, as you would say. And wow, that outside display is a lot wider than I realized. <laughs> I didn't know what, I, you know what, I didn't know what to expect going into this, but something. So the hinge is a hinge. Looks like a door hinge of some like sort kind of concept. Uh, that's a very ugly hinge. Now, keep in mind, this is just mock, you know, mock-ups, 3D printed renders, whatever. This isn't as, like, there's nothing concrete, okay? This is not, like, an actual dummy unit that is based on, like, what it's going to look like. This is just based on concepts, okay? So, <sighs> definitely is interesting. Um, that camera is just like the Google Pixel Fold 1. And I think this is literally just the Google Pixel Fold 1 in theory with a um, Apple logo on the back and a different camera setup. Although, Pixel Fold 1, I don't feel like the Pixel Fold 1 was that thick. Or, I say thick, but wide of an outside uh, display. This thing is humongously big. It's kind of, again, I always say this, it reminds me of the Surface Duo. That's like the best concept I can look at when it comes to these foldable phones. Especially these 3D renders and 3D mock-ups is the Surface Duo 1 where maybe the Surface Duo 2, but Surface Duo 2 had that gigantic camera bump. Surface Duo 1 though, very similar concept. Didn't have an outside display, but looks wise, very similar concept. Worked out very well, but it was a 360 degree foldable cell phone. While this is of course a 180. So I like the 360. It was such a great concept. I wish they continued the whole lineup, but they did not. Um, Yeah, listen. This looks cool. I think it's a cool concept. Um, I think interesting idea. Here's the problem. When Apple releases this, which is apparently going to be next year, this is going to be a thousand... Excuse me. This is Apple. This is going to be a $22 to $2,500 device. And because of that, this has to be perfect for Apple, right? I mean, yes, there's going to be Apple fanboys that buy the device no matter what. Apple sheep that buy the device no matter what. But if they're trying to sell this to the general public, general consumer, they're going to really have to make this device look appealing, beautiful, and really actually want the average consumer to get it. Because they tried the whole concept with the iPhone Air, and that's not foldable, but the iPhone Air being the thinnest foldable, or thinnest phone ever, it did not work. It did not work. That phone is a flop. And we'll see how this one ends up turning out in the end. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one.